Hi, welcome to a very exciting Chun TV where we have two things that I am so excited about that I could actually become injured. <laughs> One of them is Emily's back <laughs> for spring break here for a couple days. Uh, so she decided to come sit in the ketchup chair uh, yeah. for the first time. Finally, I got a guest chair. I've got a guest <laughs> in it. It's going to be great. Uh, the second thing that I'm super excited about is this little um, artifact from Hot Ones. This is the Last Dab Triple X. Um, their Last Dab sauces are, the X is denotes Pepper X, which is the successor to the Carolina Reaper being mm -hmm. bred by Ed Curry out of Puckerbutt Farms in South Carolina. Um, rumored to be a neighborhood of two and a half to three million Scoville units, oh. which is like 50% hotter than a Carolina Reaper. But the, pe the pepper itself is not out in the wild. You can't get it. Yeah. Um, but Hot Ones has the inside track. And so every, in concert with the show, they bottle some of Pepper X into here. And the Triple X denotes now three different strains of Pepper X that are going to be in here. And so right off the top, where are the ingredients? Here we are. Ingredients. Pepper X. <laughs> Chocolate Pepper X. Peach Pepper X. Distilled vinegar, ginger, turmeric, coriander, cumin, and dried mustard. Still perpetuating the what I think is a mistake of not putting salt in these. But is there, there's vinegar though, right? There's a little yeah, bit of, okay. but it's mostly pepper mash. So is this the like word chocolate and peach? Is it it's a to coloration be? of the pod. Okay, not it's, supposed to be like that. Yeah, no, they, yeah, they don't taste oh, like okay, it. Okay, good. I was like, yeah. so like the chocolate pepper X is like uh, like the plants I had that were like yeah. kind of almost purple brown. Yeah. That's the chocolate. And then the peach is peach. Yeah. Uh, but chocolate pods tend to be hotter than mm. the hotter ones. Uh, and more floral tasting. It's so thick. Yeah, it, <laughs> and it it really is, and it like and it's similar to the other uh, last dab flavors. Um, it is effectively a pepper mash in a bottle. Like it's not a sauce, really. Yeah, it's just. Well, even whenever you watch the videos, they like. It's, you can't really <laughs> dab it. It's like a blob. Yeah. But the last blob probably would have been harder to sell. <laughs> um, <laughs> the last blob. But you know the drill. Oh, uh, yeah. You've been through the Bill of Rights, but basically you put it on your spoon, on your head, be it. You don't have to do this. You can get up and leave right mm -hmm. now. Although the video would be a lot less interesting without you. Um, I've come to enjoy like the feeling of hot, like the intensity of it. Me like, too. Yeah. Like one of my friends in uh, college are like, this is so Never. hot. I'm like, oh, this is like nothing. My stepdad makes me do all of these things. I don't make you. Sure. <laughs> so if you have a look, um, it, it's it's similar to the other Last Dad versions. It is really, really chunky. It does have a really pretty color. It's almost a little lighter in color than the the the, uh, the Redux was. Um, oh, wow, you did a lot. I think and I need to do more now. A, I love the aroma of Pepper X. I really do. Yeah, you feel no pressure. No yeah, pressure it's, always. It's, it's, it's gonna be you gotta match it. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty hot no matter what. I gotta be like on the. Oh my God, it's so hard to get out though because it's just and this thick. One, this actually has a little more to it in the in the aroma department than the last uh, the prior ones. I was a little bit disappointed with those because they they didn't showcase the pods as much. It was really intense, like turmeric, really really ginger. Hard. It's so thick. Um, but this one, I get a really intense whiff of the pepper X, and I think actually it comes across. Maybe it's the peach one. As a little bit Ooh, of a Scotch like bonnet, like it has a nice smell, or almost like a fatale, which I think there's some fatale in pepper X probably. But this actually smells like the most delicious version. It smells like it would taste really good on chicken. That's what I Ooh, smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and it doesn't actually smell very hot. And but it's pretty innocent. It's lying um, to so you. I'm wondering because the first three ingredients are three different versions of the new hottest pepper in the I'm world. Really so it can't like it's gonna taste good, but I'm really like. But this is our tacos later. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Let's find out. Let's give it a minute and see how we feel. This smells um, real nice. It, it, this it's uh, so fatale mm. peppers smell like this. Uh, okay. There was a one from Pe Peppers I got called uh, Lemon Yellow Jacket, but it was made with fatale peppers and lemons. And it had that same kind of like, there's something savory about it. Like yeah. citrusy, but savory. It kind of smells like like a really good curry you make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well. I'm so excited. Uh, <laughs> yeah, The Last Dab, um, it, you know, it's a, it's a rock of our pop culture, and we're happy to participate in it. But first, first and dab. foremost, this is actually more about the quest for chili enlightenment yeah. that we're going to pursue here as I head into the 37th year of life on this earth. And now, actually, as of last week, the third year of Chun TV. Is oh, underway. wow. Yeah. Happy second birthday, Chun TV. Thank you all for sticking around. Um, and cheers. Last Dab Triple X. We'll tell you how we feel in just a moment. I'm scared. All right. It smells cheers. really good, but like... <sighs> Mm -hmm. Hmm. It just tastes like pepper. It tastes really good. <laughs> <laughs> it 
It does have a, woo! It starts off and then it builds. Whoa! It gets you. It has a nice taste. It does. Actually, I don't miss the salt as much. So. No, I didn't need the salt, actually. <laughs> wow. Oh, it got worse. Oh, it's in my throat. This is wicked. It's coming on very quickly. Like, I'm already at a very significant, like, it's probably at a five. And it's already starting to... Yeah, it's almost like an actual fire. <laughs> And its level of intensity. It's been a while. <laughs> oh, you already went for the drink too. You're screwed. Um, it it's a it's an interesting sensation because it's not. It's a little more superficial, like stinging. Like it feels like actual temperature burns in my mouth. And it's um, it's got the roof of my mouth. It's spreading through my tonsils, my tongue, and I've just got the vapors. My face is really warm. You're getting well pink and splotchy. Now, ears are starting to get tingly. The flavor, though, this is actually the most tasty one of the other ones. Uh, Breathing in feels good. I feel like you get a more pronounced pod taste from this one than you did from the others. Mm -hmm. And it's actually a really good tasting pod that I feel bad that they've been kind of burying it up to this point because it has a nice flavor. Maybe that's the peach ones bringing something new. But it reminds me of a Fatale or a Scotch Bonnet, like citrusy but also the weird savoriness that i can't quite describe and then it gives way and you kind of get the aromas like i kind of get the ginger a little bit <sighs> like it's kind of a, like you kind of get like when it and ginger in the cumin like as you breathe when it hit my tongue i was very happy mm. but man it doesn't give you much time it was really quick my stomach already Ooh. and i did the last day of reaper edition last week and it was very slow to come on reapers take a while this is precisely the opposite of that. Like, it's a launch pad. You're just, and you're off. But like, it's also, like, kind of manageable. I'm like, because I haven't went for the whipped cream yet. Yeah. Like, it's weird. Like, I'm swe I'm sweating a lot. But it's like. But I'm not that. It's perfect for an interview because I can still talk. Yeah. It's like a pain that hurts a lot. But, but it's not impeding my function. Like, whereas, like, normally, <laughs> like, even a habanero, it gets kind of hard to, to talk through it after a while. And this is actually... My ears hurt. It's it's very intense, but it's not distracting. Yeah. It's hard to explain. For a bit it was distracting for me, but now I'm okay. <sighs> That's really, really hot, though. I'm, like, really into that flavor. Like, if you put, like, a little mm. bit of that, and, like, ooh, it's, like, in a... What's it called? The sauce we put on fish tacos. <laughs> like salsa? No, no, no. Like, in a... Like, the sour cream sauce. Oh, like that chipotle like that we chipotle made? chipotle sauce, yeah. yeah. like a chipotle mayo or a chipotle mm. sour cream. And you replace the chipotle with that. <laughs> Yeah, it's good. And I, I think, I guess it would actually be really good if you wanted to make a kicked up fruit salad. The flavor would go well. Like mango. Oh, mango with this? Or melon. Um, but it would be really, really hot. But I feel like you can make a popsicle from hell with that. Mango with that would be so good. I could totally see using it on, like you're talking about chicken tacos, like grilled chicken, like pollo al carbon would be really good with that. Um, it actually is still building. My lips hurt. My the roof of my mouth hurts. is in a lot of pain right now. I get... That's the chocolate peppers hit you twice. And I find that the second punch of chocolate peppers tends to be a lot more violent than the first one. The first one is like burn pain, but the second one is like pain. hornet sting in my mouth. Oh. Like, that's the biggest issue with this. Uh. It's like, it's not like, <laughs> like spicy you can deal with because spicy, like, <laughs> might incapacitate your, like, you can't speak or anything, uh. but like pain, it's worse. I prefer spicy, spicy. This is quite painful. But I can see where if you're trying to get somebody to reflect on their lives, this would cause them to think about things a little bit differently. It hits your stomach um, and it hits it fast. And yeah, it no, it, yeah, my stomach's like, uh, oh, guys. And I'm like, well, welcome to Chun TV, stomach. This is one of those things, like, as I'm going down from it, that I would want to eat again. Yeah, I enjoy this a lot. Yeah. And I feel like, actually, and I know this is contrary to, like, what the marketing's for, but if you made, like, a civilian version of this sauce that wasn't so crazy, you could sell more than one bottle. To yeah. each of your customers. Well, because the saw, the flavor minus it's the delicious. pain. And it's good job, because I haven't actually liked it the last step that much. I still think it needs a tiny little bit of salt. And maybe just yeah. a little bit of vinegar. Or like a little, yeah. Kind of like, liven it up just a little bit. At all? No. Oh. I, I don't think it, or if it does, no, it's very little. Vinegar, yeah. but it's like the fourth ingredient. It is the fourth ingredient. You're and there's no salt. And it's just a little bit of vinegar and salt. This thing would be unbeatable. It'd be Bro. so good. But as it stands, like, it's quite delicious. So, should you buy it? Yeah. You got 20 bucks. That's it's $20? 20 bucks. Oh, wow. Oh. Uh, that changes. And therein lies the issue a little bit, but 
if you're a Hot Ones enthusiast, and I've said this before, oh. it's probably worth it. You get to take part in the culture. You get to experience what your favorite celebrities do on the show. If you have, like, watch parties, you can bring them in. Or like-minded friends, this is a good fuck. Man, it's still going. My lips. It's really good for that. If you're just looking for a hot sauce that's really hot, it just depends on how much money you have. If you're doing, like, a contest with your friends and, like, the loser has to take a shot of hot sauce. Yeah, this is a really good, because this is really painful. Yeah. Like, very, very painful. But they'll also be able to talk to you the whole time they're in pain, which is kind of nice. Yell at you. (laughs) But boy, and it oh, hangs around. Like I'm, it's it's actually in a way still building a little bit. Like my, that second burn is kind of still coming on. Don't touch your lips with it. Mm-mm. Yeah, I've got it. like a tingly uh, the, under my nose. My mustache region mm. is lit. I'm always um, stupid whenever I eat the hot sauce, and I always go like, "Huh," and I like put my nose <laughs> on right. the trailer. <laughs> the worst idea. Don't do that. It's good advice. Uh, oh, um. So, how would you uh, describe the experience of dabbing for the first time? Dabbing? I, I enjoyed Last dabbing. dabbing. No, I, I think it was, I, after hearing about a lot of people say they didn't like the first <sighs> one, I was like, oh, this will be okay. But I just got on my fingers. Uh, but oh, no. That's <laughs> I, not good. Like, the flavor of it makes me really happy. Like, I'm really into the flavor it's of it. It's good. Like, the same way I would put, like, I would put that in ramen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, there's like already plenty of salt at work and throw it in there. And make it some wicked hot ramen, yeah, too, probably. Yeah, some miso paste, some of that, and then, like, a little bit of, uh, like, some salt or something but this, an the, egg Ooh. the idea of like ramen with chopsticks there's a lot of spray and then the last and you got last dab like all of your face you're gonna leave it with like a clown well, face like, oh, it's all red. What's my, what was my favorite one that I put in ramen mm, uh, bravado spice uh, black garlic and Carolina Reaper so good mm. but I would replace it with this yeah I think it's it's, it's really good for a cooking additive especially yeah. if you're making like hot weather food like Mexican food Caribbean food I think it would go really really well because that pepper tastes a little bit like a scotch bonnet to me um, like on all the steroids <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And I think as an additive, like if you, to, uh, other sauces you're making yourself, like if you're making like a marinade for something, uh, citrus marinade would be really good with this in it. If you wanted to put a little bit of this in like a citrus vinaigrette and blow Ooh. your head off while you have a salad, you could, um, but by itself, you're probably not going to consume too much of it aside from the novelty purpose. But it, it, on that sense, you get it kind of both uses. You get a good cooking out of it and a good novelty sauce. Yeah. It's only 20 bucks. If you like hot ones, I mean, it's a transient thing. It won't be around forever. You might as well get on the train. So it just depends on your lifestyle. Do you have 20 bucks to blow in a novelty hot sauce? If you do, this do is a it. pretty good one. Because you can spend the same and get a much worse novelty hot yeah. sauce. Like a stupid extract sauce. This is all <laughs> natural. It's just peppers. Like, it's a really cool tasting experience of a pod that's hard to find. It's a pop culture phenomenon. You pretend like you're on a show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can pretend like you're on Hot Ones. Yeah. And, uh... Put on some chicken... That on chicken wings. We, need, uh, we have to have chicken wings soon. <sighs> yeah, I think you're right. And, uh, it's peaked. It's starting to come back now. It's actually not that bad. No. Look, this um, is the first time I haven't had Yeah, you didn't. She's like brought spiritual aids and didn't did. even invoke them. This is the first time. Maybe it's also because I might, be, you. I might be getting better. Yeah. But, but uh, that was that was pretty hot. But if strangely, also manageable the whole time. So anyway, um, all in all, it was pretty good. Exactly. You know, it just depends on how much money you got, really. Um, I happened to get this one in the subscription box, so I ended up getting Ooh. it for really about, about seven bucks, which turned out to be a good value. So, um I'll put a link in the description where you can get some. It's on heatinness.com. And uh, again, it's about 20 bucks. So, you know, be or prepared. Or get, get the box of uh, the subscription box and you'll get yeah. the goodies. Yeah. And you get lots of different sauces that are on the show. You get a sticker every month. You get a little cool little novelty information about like the guests and stuff. It's pretty cool. So, um, I recommend the subscription box. I recommend the last dab for the right person. Um, but it is, man, it's hot. So, if you're not, if you're non chill, so just summarize the heat. If you're a chili head and you're right on the cusp of me, I think you can call yourself a chili head because you sit here and do this stuff. <laughs> and uh, for a chili head, this is probably like a six. Like it's not nearly as bad as like the one chip challenge. For a baby was. chili head, it's like a um, seven. <laughs> and it never gets to the point where you like start to panic or where you really have to have like an aid to speak or something. Like it doesn't hang with like a lot of fresh pods in terms of heat. If you're a non chili head. Watch out. Yeah, like, this is really going to hurt you badly. And it's probably going to hurt you a couple of times. <laughs> so, so if you're not chilly head, I would say this would be right up there at an eight or nine. Yeah. Um, but either way, like, even if you're a chilly head, it's going to get you a nice burn. It's going to get you where you want to go. And and frankly, for me, it's a little bit too hot for eating, like, out of hand, like, on a taco or something. Yeah. In large amounts. But a little bit here and there can really, really liven up something. Um, so, I don't know. It's pretty good. I liked it. There was chunks in it. <laughs> Gotta love chunks. I love chunky sauces. I like the, I feel like at one point there was a seed and I was like, ooh. Yeah, I was like, oh, that pepper now. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, there's just a pepper right there. But yeah, so um, 
thanks for watching. Yeah. Um, you know, click subscribe if you haven't already. As you probably yeah. figured out, we do spicy stuff on this channel. Um, if you're a new subscriber that just came stalking me from Leadership Lab 2020, uh, best class ever, welcome. And uh, I promise that I'll talk even more here than I did that whole weekend, so sorry about that. Uh, but <laughs> That if you don't want to listen to me anymore, probably go ahead and get the hell off this channel right now. But if you're up for spicy experiences, let me know. You too can sit in the ketchup chair. Um, click the bell. You'll be notified every time whatever this is uh, transpires again. And click like if you enjoyed this sauce tasting video. Uh, or if you want to give me a, a birthday present in the form of a like, I wouldn't mind. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm getting old. Will this be uploaded on your birthday? Maybe. Yeah. My birthday's actually tomorrow. I'm not sure. This is the 8th today. I might yeah. put, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. Maybe it'll post today. If you're watching it, it'll probably won't be the 8th anyway. So happy. At one point, I was Ooh. born and I aged and I may even be dead. But it's <laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah. Thanks again. Um, I appreciate you watching. I pre Emily, thank you so yeah. much for coming on. And uh, we'll try to get one or two. She's only here for a couple of days. We'll yeah. try to get a couple more uh, in the can so we can give you a little something to watch. Fresh pepper taste. Yeah. And uh, you know, Thai pepper. We got some Thai peppers uh, that Emily hasn't had. I haven't had one since the very first video. Um, it's like 230 videos. Oh, my God. Um, so it might be fun. So, yeah, stick around and we'll do some of that stuff. And uh, as always, thank you. And I will catch you next time. I'm trying to be.